guys in the previous videos we had discussed about target section proxy section spidering uh, which is also covered in target section and the repeater section in in this video we'll be discussing about the intruder where you can use the intruder in order to brute force some login pages or you can send some null payloads okay like you can perform a simple dos attack so I'm gonna show this, okay? So in order to save some time, I had already set it up because I think I had given a good recap so that you might be remembering how to do all this stuff, okay? So so this is my uh, Metasploit Bull machine in which I'm in damn vulnerable web application. Uh, you can see an option called brute force. Click on this brute force. And guys, uh, here this is testing for brute force credential, uh, like it is testing for admin credentials. So let me let me let us think that we don't know the password of admin and i am giving admin only and you can see that uh, something is getting reflected on this page so let me copy it i think it might be useful in feature and it will be useful in feature as well okay and uh, so what we'll be doing right now is we'll be brute forcing this page in order to brute force this page make sure that your burp is running Make sure that your intercept is on. Uh, head over to your browser. Make sure that your uh, proxy is turned on. Uh, give something credentials. Admin and uh, admin something else. Okay. Click on login. I don't know what's happening, but uh, let me figure it out. Yeah, you can see that when I reloaded it, uh, I got it. It might be a kind of error. You can simply reload it and you can get it. I think you might not get it. Okay. So you can see that uh, my request for the password is got here. Since this is the HTTP site, you can see the uh, credentials that are going in a clear text. That's a pretty basic stuff. Okay. So guys, you can see that this is my username that I gave and my password that I gave. Since we don't know anything, any stuff. So what I'll be doing is I'll be brute forcing this page until I get some a good result okay like until i find the password so in order to do this you can uh, quickly right click on this uh, click on send to intruder you will find some option like send to intruder the previous step we had seen repeater now we'll see intruder click on intruder now let me go to the intruder section this is uh, my tab open here you can see the target it's fixed you can do anything go to the positions okay and you can see a highlight a highlighting here which shows that on default our intruder brute force brute force is like trying everything every possible pattern until we get a good result or a positive result so what's happening on default is our intruder will try on each and every section but do we really need it no we uh, we simply need username i think username is also no need we simply need a password so what i'll be doing is Click on clear this ampersand or end. Okay, and what I'll be, I'll be selecting this section, the value that I'm giving in the password. Now I'm gonna click on add this person so that only my password section gets highlighted and only my password section needs to be brute forced. And guys, you can see something like attacker type. Sniper is like, you'll be having one payload. Payload is nothing like, in this case, the payload is a text file with the passwords okay we'll create it a simple one okay and here you'll have some options like sniper sniper is like you'll be using only one payload on one target like on one section and the battering ram is like multiple payloads on multiple sections like in order if you uh, we had fixed that the username is admin okay what if you don't know the username also so we'll be, we'll be also brute forcing this and we'll be selecting the battering ram okay so that's all basic stuff I'll provide you the some more resources if you need it. The most uh, common things we'll be using is sniper and battering ram, but for this uh, time we'll be using simply sniper. Okay, so we had set it up everything fine. So now let me minimize it. I don't go anywhere. Uh, let me open my text editor. Yeah, text editor. Just a minute. Yeah, text editor. Now I'll be creating. I don't know how to enlarge the yeah, preferences. Just a minute. Uh, just a minute yeah, select I'll be uh, creating a simple payload okay 
so this uh, this payload or this text file contains the passwords that needs to be brute forced this is first one is sattvic and since i know the password is password and password one two three and uh, uh qwerty uh jayhind india something something like that i'm gonna save this control s i'm gonna save this on my desktop as uh, uh passwords passwords.txt guys you can find something like rocky.txt available in github which consists of uh, roughly 200 to 300 most commonly used passwords so you can try that in order to test it but in order to save some time and in order to explain the things that are going out i'll be using this okay so this is i had created i had successfully created my uh a payload which is, or a word list you can call it a word list which consists of some passwords so i'll be opening my burp suit again here and guys since we had uh, already selected the location where we want to test the things around let me go to the payload section and guys you can see that the payload set since we are having only one uh field to brute force we'll be having only one thing and simple list is what we'll be loading i uh, will be using and let me load my word this list let me go to my desktop and sorry any location where you have saved it and guys you can see something like all the de all the details we had given uh, got displayed here okay and here you can see some payload processing which is not necessary uh, you can see the payload encoding if you are having any special characters in your payload make sure that you turn off the url encoding because it might harm thing it might harm it it might harm you since i'm not having anything i'll turn it on based upon your payloads you can do this okay so and the second thing is we'll be going into options uh this is like uh, okay don't do anything with this and guys uh, we'll be mostly focusing on the grep match guys previously we had sorry previously we had copied something so this is what we'll be getting when we had given a wrong credentials so i'll be using this and i'll be coming here i'll be sorry i'll uh, select one control all remove them because i don't need all i'll be clearing all you can simply click on clear to remove all of them now let me add the string that i got a uh, string that i got while i entered the wrong credentials uh, what our intruder searches is in the response whether this particular string is coming or not if this particular string doesn't come then you can conclude that uh, the string the payload is our password okay uh, so I had pasted it I'll be clicking on add okay and uh, remove don't forget about all of this okay and now let me discuss about something payloads and in the payloads you can see something like the most important one is numbers dates and there will be something like null payloads you can uh, research about them but we'll be using the simplest here since we had set it up everything I'll be clicking on start attack and it shows an error, uh, it shows a, a pop up showing that if you are having communication, it will be slower. Okay, no problem. Okay, click on okay. Yeah, guys, you can see. Okay, let me. Yeah, guys, we can see our, our word list got brute force, and you can see uh, first of all, firstly, it's trying for a null payload, okay, and it's showing the status and uh, length sometimes you can classify things based upon length also okay and it is it and you can see something like the string we grabbed like a uh, string we set that is username and password is incorrect is coming for this because that's not the password and the second one is sattvic it is also not the password but guys you can see our payload password is not getting username and oppa username and our password is incorrect so you can conclude that this is our password and since i previously told that burp suit is fully made up of requests and responses you will be finding this request and responses everywhere okay uh, so this is my request uh, let me go to the response and let me click, click on render so just a minute yeah you can see that welcome to the password area uh, password protected area admin which shows that this request with these particular values is the 
thing that gives us the positive response or let me try one thing okay so guys when you click on the another payload which is wrong and uh, when you click on response and we go to render you can see i think it's not yeah uh, you can see the username and password is incorrect but when you go gone through the right payload you will be seeing what it will be displayed as it is so that by that we can conclude that our password is a uh, password yeah as pass okay password is our password and uh, so i'll be closing this and now i'll be going to my proxy tab and i will be giving my password as uh, pass sorry password and i will be forwarding this so let me look how the reaction or the how the output looks like don't know what happened okay or you can simply reload it and i got i captured the request again i'll be sending this so let me check you can see that uh, the response has been gotten over there which is showing that the welcome to the password area protected a, a pro password protected area admin so guys this is how you can do a a brute force attack on any login pages or anything like that so now let's go to intruder tab and let's discuss something more about the payloads and the payloads uh, some payloads are like numbers uh, sorry yeah numbers guys in the pay in the payload type numbers you can type the, you can select the number in, uh, let it let it be a mobile number okay one two three sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine zero sorry i think like the person is using 10 digits and from 99999 okay so 10 total 10 character and the step uh, so this is my starting point and this is my ending point and i will be clicking on one step since the step is one and guys since we are starting from 000 our our introduct things like it, it will start from 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. But we don't need like this. We need 9 zeros 1, 9 zeros 2, and it should go on like that. So in order to uh, maintain the number of characters same, here you can see something like number format. Minimum number of digits 10, since we are giving 10 digits. Maximum number of digits 10, that's all. That's all, okay. So guys, uh, we had, uh, so this is how you can perform a brute, brute force attack. Uh, since i'm not having password with numbers you can i can show you but you can try this on any numbers okay and other payload is dates where you can specify the dates and you can specify the pattern okay so yeah some websites takes the password as input as uh, password uh, sorry the birth date as input you can quickly guess the year which he uh, which he is born and you can try the things around and uh, the something is like null payloads and guys this is like by using this kind of payloads i'll be going to the positions i'll be clearing it null means nothing like we don't do we don't uh, use any payload because we don't need to so what this null payload does is it simply catch simply sends the request multiple times like here you can uh, give a number i'm giving a bigger number okay bigger number I'm planning to, sorry, I think it's the max limit. I'm planning to do a brute force, uh, a DOS attack. Okay. So I'm considering giving a larger number. So this many times the request will be sent to the server or the web application. So if the server is really poor, like it can, it's not limiting the user based on the activity, then it might surely be are prone to DOS or DDoS attack. So guys, this is all regarding the payloads and there are many more, but most of the things we'll be using is simple list, uh, which will specify our own list, uh, numbers, dates, and the null payloads. Okay. So guys, this is all regarding the intruder and I uh, recommend you to try this activity, okay, on your machines and make sure that you understood everything fine. And if you're having any problem there is if you want to try the things around on most of the sites there will be something like uh, uh, one web uh, like you can find some sites online which helps you to 
uh, practice these skills okay or you can don't try it on any others websites okay this might be an error so you guys you can see that there is a simple login page and the password is password and this is a vulnerable web application you can try the things on it or you can simply install some new uh, buggy web applications like pweb or you can uh, test with this mutility etc so what i insist you to what i insist is keep on practicing okay keep on practicing this stuff and not like on the website that i shown you can try it on any other uh, buggy web applications so i hope you look practice i'll i'll meet you in the next video take care